All right, here is the Tribble proof of concept, risen from the ashes. It's May 2012, and I think it's been sitting in my closet since December 2003. Uh, it is hooked up, plugged in through PCI bus to a PC motherboard. And then I have uh, this debug cable here, which is a serial output from the triple device going over a cable to my machine. That's going to be the debug output that currently is uh, dumping memory contents. Then there's a JTAG connector connected to the SPI 610. That is also a serial port. You can tell the age of these devices now. Connected again to my machine. So we're compiling code, loading it through the JTAG interface, uh, running on the triple device, and then serially transmitting data back. So th this board actually has a, uh, a program called Mon960 on it, which is the um, i960 monitor that communicates with the JTAG port. So we're basically loading code on and executing it from RAM, uh, and the Mon960 Mon stays uh, internal resident to that machine. So let's see, let's go ahead and uh, we have some code compiled See if we can autofocus on this stuff. And uh, yeah, this is some code from December 10th, 2003 of basically querying the PCI bus and then dumping, uh, grabbing memory uh, via DMA from address zero. And then we're grabbing uh, chunks of 10,000 hex bytes at a time, which is 64 kilobytes and uh, we're basically going up to uh, 128 kilobytes. And then it's just gonna grab it, dump it to the screen, and that's it. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna run, and then go to our debug console, and you can see now we're magically dumping the volatile contents of that machine at a glorious 115.2 kilobits per second. And that machine right now actually has uh, Ubuntu uh, running on it. So it's gonna dump 128 kilobytes and then stop. And there you have it, Tribble, Tribble Revived. The end.